Thank you, Chairman, for the introduction. And uh, I will tell you in my presentation what is happening in North America. Here I'm showing you a few examples of uh, discoveries of natural hydrogen on the North American continent. Uh, it has been discovered in various geological settings, uh, in uh, like a free gas uh, flowing from the wells in uh, various states uh, of the United States, and the concentrations of this gas uh, could reach 96% in these gases. Natural hydrogen uh, was discovered also in volcanic gases. On this picture here, you can see Augustine Volcano in Alaska, and the measured concentrations of hydrogen in the gases were up to 52%. Uh, natural hydrogen was also discovered in folds. One example is a uh, famous uh, San Andreas Fault in California, and in some places, uh, concentrations of hydrogen could reach 13%. Uh, but also it is present in uh, more uh, rare and in, uh, interesting locations like geysers. Here you can see an example from Sonoma geyser where concentrations of hydrogen reach 15%. These are only few examples of uh, natural settings where natural hydrogen can be present uh, just to demonstrate that it, it is present in various environments and uh, on the North American continent. But once we uh, go to the map of uh, the world uh, where I placed uh, the discoveries um, published in lit literature uh, with concentrations more than 10% in various environments like free gases, like dissolved gas in aquifers and uh, like uh, gas in uh, inclusions, you can uh, instantly see that most of the place marks are located on the uh, Eastern Europe uh, and Northern Asia territories. And this is not because all hydrogen is present there. This is because researchers from these regions were analyzing gases for hydrogen more often. And because they are doing this, they were discovering it more often. So you can see on this map the difference between uh, this uh, region on uh, Eastern Europe and everywhere else in the world, and specifically in North America, that uh, natural hydrogen uh, has been um, overlooked and uh, more research is necessary, and specifically systematic research. Uh, when uh, uh, we zoom to the North American continent, we see that there are several uh, place marks. Uh, the green ones are for free gases. Uh, the blue ones are for hydrogen dissolved in uh, water, and uh, the brown ones are for hydrogen found in inclusions. There are not so many of them, but they're actually from various uh, geological environments. As I shown in previous slides, there are, there are gases from uh, wells drilled mostly for hydrocarbons, but other drillings as well. There are volcanic gases, uh, gases in fault, Actually, the concentrations could reach up to 70%, and uh, gases from geysers. Uh, the main problem, as uh, I see, is the total lack of systematic studies of hydrogen. Uh, all, of, all of these discoveries I present here, they are accidental discoveries, most of them. When people were uh, searching for something else or doing very specific scientific research, and they were discovering hydrogen. but the issue that uh, this gas uh, is never analyzed like a part of a protocol for uh, natural gas samples. And for example, in the database of uh, natural gas samples in the United States, from 14,000 samples of gases, there are only five analyses uh, showing uh, hydrogen in more than 10% concentration. And this is reflecting not the uh, scarcity of hydrogen, this is reflecting the problem of analysis because most of them, when they are done, they never measure hydrogen as a component. So, of course, if you don't measure it, you cannot find it. And um, our team is between the first who started to systematically measure hydrogen in all gas samples we, we have, and uh, there are also some universities uh, studying uh, doing this work right now, but it's far from being the generalized uh, uh, 
um, a practice to to do. Uh, our team, uh, we are we were between the first to come uh, to measure and to study enigmatic features, which are called Carolina Bays. Uh, on this uh, satellite picture, I am switching between two of those, and you can see them highlighted. So these are oval-shaped uh, depressions located on the Earth's surface, and um, there are up uh, up to five hundred thousands of them on the Atlantic coast of the United States. So we made a prediction that these um, excuse me these features are uh, uh, of endogenic origin because there were many hypotheses on their formation, but none of them included uh, in the endogenic origin. So we came and we tested for the presence of hydrogen in North Carolina. Here you can see on the map locations we tested and you see how numerous these features are, these uh, oval shaped depressions. And uh, we confirmed the presence of hydrogen in them and actually uh, the distribution of hydrogen and the concentrations are similar to other uh, rounded depressions studied uh, in other parts of the world. And uh, here you can see one Carolina base we studied and the concentrations of hydrogen, which are, are related mostly with the outer rim of uh, the bay because the central part is a swampy area. So it's not, not so good for hydrogen diffusion, diffusion through it. And uh, you can see on the left uh, corner here, uh, the uh, concentrations of hydrogen with depth. The deeper we are going, higher we are finding the concentrations. So it, and in the, the highest concentrations are found in the uh, sand layer, which is below the uh, organic rich layer. And uh, here is one more example of, uh, of the study we've done. Here you can see this uh, um, oval-shaped uh, uh, depressions, Carolina base, and you can see hydrogen concentrations. Again, the highest uh, content is on the rim and uh, on uh, intersections of different uh, Carolina base. These results were uh, published in a peer review journal, you can see the reference below. You can find it and uh, read for more details. Um, so, since uh, that discovery, it became clear to us that we are dealing with a very large uh, potential of uh, presence of natural hydrogen. So, we created uh, our startup company called Natural Hydrogen Energy, which I'm managing. And uh, our company, um, we are pioneers of uh, exploration and uh, production of natural hydrogen because we started uh, already uh, eight years ago. And before that, we were doing uh, research. And uh, our team is uh, composed by scientists and experts. So we have the most uh, complete knowledge of hydrogen in the industry, and we spent many years on studying uh, presence of hydrogen on the North American continent, which allowed us to uh, create a database uh, with uh, locations and uh, occurrences of hydrogen and also to compare these uh, places uh, between them. So uh, a little more than a year ago, our company drilled the first well specifically for natural uh, hydrogen. This is the first well uh, looking uh, for hydrogen in uh, North America. Uh, so it confirmed the presence of hydrogen and helium on the ground. And what is important to mention that it used a completely new exploration paradigm. Uh, so you, by, by this way, this is the truly innovative and uh, a landmark well. So now our company owns uh, mineral rights on uh, thousands of acres across the United States uh, where the uh, presence of hydrogen has been uh, proved. Currently we are working on uh, starting the industrial production of natural hydrogen from this well. We are preparing for other drillings and uh, our estimates uh, show that uh, this hydrogen will be less than a dollar per kilogram to produce. 
which uh, makes it uh, very competitive with uh, all other types of hydrogen and uh, with the current uh, cheapest uh, uh, available hydrogen, which is great. And uh, white hydrogen, natural hydrogen will be uh, cheaper, which will make it uh, the, the best possible source of, uh, of uh, hydrogen for the energy and other applications. And uh, our project is uh, highly scalable uh, with very high potential. So that's uh, what we're doing uh, right now. And um, um, I'm happy to, 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 to make you this brief introduction to, to our project. Of course, there are much more results we have which are not possible to cover in such a short uh, presentation. But uh, we hope that uh, in very, uh, very soon we will be able to uh, to, to make an announcement of starting of industrial production of hydrogen. So thank you for your attention uh, and uh, I will be happy to answer your questions.